At this time of crisis, we badly need not money, not gold, not uh, riches, not properties, but peace. Peace in the heart, peace in the mind, and peace in the home, and in particular, peace in our Christian community. And yes, we do have this peace from the recent Lord. When we gather here, first listen to His Word. When we listen to the Word of God, we are listening to Jesus Christ Himself, preaching to us and explaining to us His message of love. And then we still have something greater, just some uh, minutes uh, from now, when we start the liturgy of the Eucharist, we have the repetition of the Last Supper instituted by Jesus himself and with his uh, power as God and with the power of the Holy Spirit, now the minister, the church minister, the priest, repeats the power of Jesus. This is my body and bread being turned into the body of Jesus. This is my blood and again wine being turned into the blood of Jesus to be our spiritual food to strengthen our faith during our pilgrimage on earth until one day we are welcomed into the kingdom of God to enjoy forever the eternal supper, the eternal festival with the Holy Trinity, with the Blessed Virgin Mother, with the angels, with uh, the saints, our beloved family members included, right? So many sisters, brothers, we are so grateful to Jesus for loving us to his last drop of blood. And before he left us, he instituted this sacrament of the Eucharist, the sacrament of the body and blood of Jesus to fulfill his promise to stay with us always to the end of time. So whenever we come together to celebrate the Holy Mass, we take first the teaching of Jesus, the Holy Gospel he taught in the liturgy of the world. Our mind becomes brighter and full of wisdom, not wisdom of this world, but wisdom from the Holy Spirit to understand something greater, something more profound. That uh, as a uh, human being, we cannot no mean to understand. But when we have the wisdom as the blessing from the Holy Spirit, we can understand the mystery of the kingdom of God. We understand the mystery of our Christian faith. And then when we come to this holy mass, we still have the gift of the little tree of the Eucharist. We have the body and blood of Christ to be our spiritual food, to fulfill our journey during this uh, life on earth, to reach our true home in heaven. And 
the kingdom of peace of love prepared for eternity for us if we believe in Jesus Christ and if we do our best to fulfill the teaching of Jesus written in the Holy Bible and Jesus himself already summarized the teaching of the gospel, the teaching of the, the Old Testament with regard the Ten Commandments, you know, it's only one commandment, the commandment of love or the new commandment, love God and love your neighbor as yourself. So again, we are so happy to gather every Sunday. And you know Sunday is the day of the Lord when by the power of the Holy Spirit, Jesus goes from the dead and forever alive and forever abiding in our midst as he has promised. When we celebrate this Holy Mass, we can hear the very word of Jesus, and in particular, we receive the same way the Apostle did during the Last Supper, the body and blood of Jesus. His real presence in this sacrament of love, the sacrament of sacrifice. So we thank our Lord from the bottom of our heart and we promise him to be worthy of his sacrifice, of his love, of his real presence in the blessed sacrament. Jesus, brothers and brothers, we also pray not only really for ourselves but also for our sister brothers who do not know Jesus yet because it's our mission. We are sent by the risen Lord to loudly proclaim the good news of this resurrection, of the new life He brought us and we cannot uh, be at peace if we do not fulfill our mission to introduce the rich Lord to our sisters and brothers. We continue to offer the liturgy of the Eucharist for this very special intention. We pray for the good news of Jesus to be known and to be welcome to be accepted by our sisters and brothers who do not know him yet.